Hello lovely people, my name is Hind. Today I have a 30 minute full body workout for you. Um, I have a timer set for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. I have 28 exercises and after each exercise we're going to be doing 30 seconds of cardio um, where I want you to be uh, either marching in place, jogging in place, doing high knees, uh, it's our recovery station, but uh, the whole point of it is that we want to keep our heart elevated uh, throughout the whole workout. Um, our first four exercises are going to be our warm-up. So we're going to be starting slow. Don't push yourself to your fullest intensity. Um, and our last four exercises are going to be our cool down. So we're going to be taking everything back um, to a slower pace. Um, to bring everything back to normal and then we're gonna finish up with a stretching at the end um, when I uh, play my timer we're gonna start with the 30 seconds of um, recovery or cardio and um, all we need for this workout is, um, is a chair so if you want to grab a chair um, it will be uh, beneficial for this workout and let's get started We have uh, 10 seconds uh, to prep. All right, let's start with our cardio. We can either be marching place or just a light jog, high knees, anything. Just keep moving. First workout is going to be a squatted double elbow twist. We're going to be doing one side first. Right? So we're going to squat, making sure our knees behind our toes. And we're going to twist with one elbow and same elbow. So we're using the same elbow and same. Actually, we're, both, we're using both elbows, but we're twisting to only one side. Same side and opposite. I'm going to show you the side view. Same side. And twist. Good. Keep moving. We're going to be twisting to the other side next. Good. We're still warming up. So start slow. seconds right back to our squat position hands right here we're twisting one side and then opposite elbow same elbow opposite elbow keep your core tight your back is nice and straight and squeeze those abs same side and opposite. Good. Almost there. And last time. Good. There you go. Next we have a forward fold to a flat back to a back stretch. So there are three moves. We're going to be bending over, coming straight, then coming all the way up and reaching back. Keep moving. Right, I'm gonna show you from the side. We're gonna do a forward fold all the way down. Then we're gonna come with a flat back and then we're gonna reach all the way, feeling that stretch in our back. Again, forward fold, flat back and reach. One last time, forward fold, flat back, and reach. Good, keep moving. Next we have around the world lunge. We're doing one side first. So one leg's gonna go to the 
front for a front lunge, to the side for a side lunge, and to the back for a reverse lunge. Right, one leg, front lunge, same leg, side lunge, same leg, reverse lunge. Good. Front, you can speed it up a little, side and back. I'm going to show you from the side. Front, side, and back. Good. One last time. Front, side, and back. Good. We're going to do the other leg next. Good job. Reverse lunge. Again, front, side, and back. Same leg is moving. Coming to the front, going to the side, and to the back. One last time. Front, side, and back. Good job, guys. We're done with our warm up. You can start pushing yourself now. You can grab your chair next. We're gonna be doing a sit to stand. We're gonna do one leg. So we're gonna try and lift one leg just a little bit off the floor. And we're sitting down and standing up, pushing that hip to the back. Same squat position that we do. Knees behind the toes and stand up. Good, and up. Five more seconds and up. One last time and up, good. We're gonna be lifting the other leg next. Keep moving. This is a great way to build a pistol squad. If any of you is familiar with that. Right? We're lifting the other leg now. Oh, I think I'm lifting the wrong leg. Alright. That's it. Sit down and come up. If this is too advanced for you, you can use both legs. Sit down and stand up. But try to challenge yourself every second rep or something. One last time. Good. Keep moving. Next we have a sumo squat to a reach. We're gonna have our toes pointing outward. Nice wide stance. We're gonna squat and then we're gonna come up on one leg, reaching with the arms to the side and the leg to the other side. Right, toes out. We're gonna do a sumo squat. Try to come as low as you can. Come up on one leg and reach. Again, same side, sumo squat, reach the same side and same leg is lifting every time for this round. Sumo squat and lift. Breathe, good, and lift. Good job, cardio. We're gonna be lifting the other leg next. Moving, you can 
get a sip of water anytime you need. Five more seconds. Right, toes outward, sumo squat. Reach all the way down, come up on one leg and reach. Again, squat and reach. Squat and reach, good. And reach, five more seconds. Squat and reach, good. Cardio. All right, next we have a single leg chair extension. We're gonna be standing on one leg in a figure four position, and we're gonna be reaching to the front of the one leg. Keep moving. So try to bring one leg over the other, try to lower down as low as you can, and then reach forward. I'm gonna show you from the side. One foot over the other thigh. Try to get as low as you can, and then reach forward. Again, and get low, don't lose your balance. Face can lean against the chair. That you have close by at any time. Cardio, we're gonna be using the other leg next. Keep moving, five more seconds. Other leg. Try to bring it as high as you can. Sit down, come up, and reach forward. Some of you might have your feet as high as this. That's completely okay. Lower down, and then kick. And reach. Good. Come you. Next, we're gonna grab that chair. We're gonna bend over that chair and we're gonna do heel presses. One leg for this round. If you feel that you don't need that chair and you wanna challenge your balance, then do that for sure. All right, I'm gonna turn that chair. Just a little bend over. We're gonna point one heel to the ceiling. We have a flat back parallel to the ground and we're gonna push and press that heel to the ceiling. A slight bent knee in the standing leg and we're pressing that heel all the way up. Great exercise for the glutes. Good, cardio. We're gonna be doing the other leg next. Moving. Good job. And other leg. Flat back. Heel up and press. Press, good, press, and press, good job, almost there, five more seconds, good, next we're going to have that same bent over position with the flat back. We're gonna have a straight leg. We're gonna open our hip and we're gonna be lifting one leg. Let's 
gonna all make sense when I show you. It's not as complicated as it sounds. Right? Bend over, flat back. Straight leg. Open that hip. Up and down. So the toes and the knees are facing out. Good. Good. We're going to be doing the other legs next. Just gonna keep moving with your cardio. over, hip open, and we're going to lower, and up, down, and up, good, all the way down, and up parallel to the ground, and up, good, keep going, three seconds left, good, Next, we have a chair balance. You can have a very narrow stance, feet together, arms reach up. We're going to lower our hip for a squat and we're going to try and balance on our toes up and down. Feet together, chair pose, arms up. I'm gonna try and come up on our toes and down. Pause for a second. Try to stay low the whole time on your toes and down. Make sure your knees behind your toes and down. Again, one last time. One more time. Good. Video. Next we have prisoner squat. We have our fingers by our ears and we're gonna squat up and down. Keep going. Ten seconds. by the ear, squat up and down. Don't lock your knees when you come up. Always a slight bend at the knees. And squat. Keep going. Five seconds left. Nice flat back, chest proud. Good. Cardio. All right, you can use a chair for the next exercise for balance. We're going to have our toys, toys, <laughs> so we're going to have our toes pointing outward. We're going to do an elevated plie squat. We're going to keep our heels elevated the whole time for that squat, right? And go down first before you lift your peel and up, up and down. Stay on your toes, squeeze your inner thighs and glutes when you come up. Really engage your muscles all together. Touch your knees to not go over your toes and down one last time. Good cardio. Next, we have a plie step. So again, toes always pointing outward. And we're going to be stepping out 
adding keep going four more seconds right so point your toes outward come out squat ending and squat again out squat in and squat other side out squat in and squat one more time on this side and squat so notice we did two for the right and two for the left keep going next we have oblique drop so we're gonna have one hand by the ear we're going to be using our oblique to drop to one side. Keep going. All right. One arm, one here. And we're going to all the way down and up. Reach. Engage your obliques. Let your oblique bring you up, take you down. Try to get as low as you can. Keep your core tight the whole time. Four more seconds. Good. We're gonna be dropping to the other side next. Keep going. side drop all the way keeping a nice straight upper body all the way down and up and reach all the way down and up and up four more seconds and up one last time good and up Radio. Next we have side angle reach. So we're going to have a nice wide stance and we're going to be reaching and twisting with our obliques again. Keep going. Four more seconds. So we'll move that chair. So toes facing forward. We're gonna reach all the way and then come up. We're not really leaning on our thigh. And reach all the way and then come straight. Reach and up. Reach and up. Good. We're gonna do the other side next. Keep going. Good job. Okay, other side. Toes facing that way, other to the side, bend one knee, reach to one side, and then come up again, reach, and up, reach, and up, good, try to stay low, keep that knee bent, good. Cardio. Next we have a dancing goddess pose. Keep going. 
link. Right, toes outward, you can drop down, you can reach this side, all the way to this side. Try to stay as low as you can the whole time. And reach. Keep your core tight. It's like somebody's pulling you from each side. Again. And one last time. Good. Good job, guys. We're going to start cooling down now. So start taking it easy. Whatever you're doing in between, go slower, go easier. We're trying to bring everything back to normal. Our heart rate, our breathing. We're gonna use our chair again for the next exercise. So we're gonna kneel on the chair and we're gonna be lifting that leg to the side. Try to come as high as you can and then reach down. Good. Squeeze your obliques. Pause for a second at the top and up. Reach up and down. Try not to lean too much to the side. Try to keep your upper body straight. Good. I'm going to do the other leg next. Keep moving, I'm just gonna move my chair to the other side. Keep going, five more seconds. Right, finger knee up on that chair. And we're lifting the other leg. And down, all the way up, pause for a second. And down. Try to keep your leg as straight as possible at all times. You can even point your toes to help guide you with the move. Good. Keep your core tight at all times, guys. Reach. Four more seconds. Reach. And down. Good. Put away the chair now. Got one last exercise. We're doing knee circles alternating right and left leg. Good job. Good. Turn me up and just a little circle and then the other side. Knee up and circle and circle. Upper body still facing forward. We're opening up that hip. Good job. And one last time. Good. So we just finished our 28 moves, guys. Good job. Now now we can start our stretching. Right? One leg is gonna reach to the front, other leg to the back. Make sure that heel is down and push that knee to the front. Keep your upper body nice and straight. Feel that stretch in the back leg, in your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves, your soleus. Now try to push the knee a little bit more to the front. Keep your weight in the heel, in that bent leg. Good. Other side. One leg to the front, other leg to the back. Back heel is down and we're pushing the knee forward. Good job. Focus on your breathing. In through your nose, out your mouth. Push the knee a little bit more to the front for a deeper stretch. Good job. Good. Now 
bring the feet closer together, toes up on one side, and we're gonna lean on that leg. So again, feel that stretch in the back of your leg with the toes up. Try to get lower if you can. Other leg, toes up, and lean forward. Try to get lower if you can. Good. If you want to hold on to something, we're going to be standing on one leg. We're grabbing one leg by the ankle or the toes. Keep the knees together and pull. Feel that stretch in your quadriceps and we're also stretching our iliopsoas muscle. Pull a bit more if you can. Good, grab the other leg. Knees together and pull. Try to pull a bit more. Good, now drop the leg. One arm is gonna reach up and then bend to the side. We're stretching the side of our body, our arms, our lats, obliques. Now bend further to the side. Other side, arm up and reach. Reach further to the side if you can. Next, interlock your fingers and reach behind your back. And lift those arms. Feel that stretch in your chest muscles, the front of your shoulders and your biceps. Now try to lift a bit higher if you can. Now bring one elbow behind your head and pull that elbow till you feel that stretch in your triceps. Try to pull more. Try to walk your fingers down your back for a deeper stretch. Other triceps, elbow behind your head and pull. Interlock your fingers and reach all the way up to the ceiling for a nice full upper body stretch. Stretch your arms, your back, your abs. Try to reach higher up if you can. Now bring those arms by the side, thumbs up and reach back. Again, we're stretching our chest muscles, our pectorals, the anterior deltoid, the front of our shoulders, and our biceps. Reach further back if you can. Good. Now we're going to cross one foot over the other and we're going to lean forward. Feel that stretch in the back of the back leg. Your outer hip, your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves. 
your soleus, try to get lower if you can. Cross over to the other side. you can. Next we're going to point our toes outward and we're going to sit in a sumo squat. Going to give our inner thighs a nice stretch. Try to get lower if you can. You can even push your knees to the back for a deeper stretch for your adductors. Now bring your toes forward and we're gonna sit in a side lunge. Stretching our glutes in the bent leg and our adductors in the straight leg. Try to get lower if you can. Good, now bend over to the other side. Now try to get lower if you can. Good, now bring your feet closer together. Shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend over, we're gonna grab the back of our legs and we're gonna look through our knees, pulling ourselves close together. Feel that stretch in your lower back, your glutes, your hamstrings. Now pull yourself a bit more, closer together for a deeper stretch. Now slowly come up, one vertebrae at a time. Your head comes up last. Bring your arms up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Arms to the side and let it out. Good job, guys. You did it. Thank you.